Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's math channel. <clears throat> In this video, I'm going to be going through some questions from algebraic methods proofs from the P2 International A level textbook. This is a new uh, part, part of the syllabus for the Edexcel, which is um, proofs. And um, I've been requested by some students to answer some of the questions from the textbook. Um, so I'm going to start off now. They asked me to answer the questions which have this EP symbol in front of them. So now, um, let's just get straight into it. It says, prove that all cube numbers are either a multiple of 9 or one more or one less than a multiple of 9. Okay, so a good thing to do first is to show, have a little demonstration to give some some examples of you know cube numbers for example one cubed one cubed is equal to one which is one more than zero now zero is actually a multiple of every number so you can see that this this fits two cubed two cubed is eight which is one less oops I should say one more than um, a multiple of 9 one more than a multiple of 9 okay which is 0 and this is one this is one less than a multiple of 9 which is 9 so this is one less than a multiple of 9 so we've shown by a few examples it seems to be um, Okay, so 3 cubed is equal to 27, okay, which is a multiple of 9. Okay, so, so far so good. Alright, now if you um, continue, like 4 cubed, 4 cubed is going to be 64, okay, which is 1 more than 63, which is a multiple of 9. 9 times 7 is 16 and so on. So just to show, show a few examples, of course you can't go through everyone, but this demonstration shows for some numbers that their cubes are, are multiples of 9 or one less or one more than a multiple of 9. Okay, so now we want to show that this is true for every single possible uh, number. Every single possible cube number that exists from, you know, up to infinity, will either be a multiple of 9 or one more or one less than a multiple of 9. So how do we prove that for every single number without actually going through every single particular number, which will, of course, be impossible for us to do? Okay, so what we have to do is we have to think of an algebraic method. So the algebraic method is to, say, um, find a way to show all possible numbers. Now, one way that we, you've probably done already for some type of questions is where you have something like um, you choose all the odd numbers and all the even numbers. So you say, for example, let n equals 2k and let n equals 2k minus 1 or 2k plus 1, whatever. So this includes all of, if k is an integer, k is an integer, this will include, for example, the number, when k equals 1, that will include 2. That would include 1. Okay, when k is equal to 1, this will be 2, this will be 1. When k equals 2, this will be 3, this will be 4. When k equals 3, this will be 5, then 6, and so on. So you'll get every single number that exists. But the problem in this particular question, when we're dealing with multiples of 9, if I say n cubed, uh, when it's you know 2k, when it's an, an even number, you're going to have 2k cubed, which is going to give us 8k cubed, and um, we're not going to be able to express things in terms of multiples of 9. That's the problem. Okay, so that's the problem with using this method here where you have the odd and even numbers. You can't really use that to prove things like multiples of 9. Okay, so that's going to be a, a bit of a problem there. Now, alternatively, what we can do is say, okay, we want to have things in terms of multiples of 9. Okay, so if it's in terms of a multiple of 9, we could think of, for example, uh, let's, let's choose 
find a way to shoot to have all the numbers in terms of nine times something. So, for example, nine n. Okay, well, let's say let n equal nine k. Let the number equal nine times k. And you can say k is an element of the real numbers. Okay, that will include all the multiples of nine. So that will be, for example, nine and eighteen and twenty-seven and and so on. But then we want to have also um, every other number up to nine. So nine k minus one. That will be basically eight. One less than the multiples of nine. So that will be the eight and seventeen and so on, right? At twenty-six and so on. There will be all the numbers one less than the multiples of nine. But then we've got to make sure we include every single number. So then we'll have to also say 9k minus 2, and 9k minus 3, and 9k minus 4, and 9k minus 5, and 9k minus 6, and 9k minus 7, and 9k minus 8. That will include all the numbers. When k is 1, you're going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. When k is 2, you're going to get um, that's going to be 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And if you go through all, all the values of k, you'll end up with every single number that exists. But the problem is, for me to go ahead and cube all of these and then show that they are either multiples of 9 or one more or one less than multiple of 9, so it's a big hassle because there's lots of, so many expressions and you've got to cube them. All right, so that's also something that's, although it would work, it would work, it's just going to take too, too long. Okay, so there must be an easier way to deal with it, and there is. And that is to deal with the number 3, because if you square 3, you get a multiple of 9. If you cube 3, you get a multiple of 9. So you can express things in terms of multiples of 9 if you think about going in 3s. So if I say let n equals 3k, that's all the multiples of 3. So that's going to be 3, and when k, k is all the integers... You're going to have, you're going to start with, you're going to have 3, or if you want 0, k okay, 0, 3, and 6, and 9, and, and if you do 3k minus 1, that's like 1 less than the multiple of 3, so that will be 2, and 5, and 8, and so on, okay? And also, if we do 3k minus 2, that's going to be all the uh, multiples, 2 less than the multiples of 3, so that will be like 1, <coughs> That would be like 1 and 4 and so on. We could even, if you want to, call this 3k minus 1 and 3k plus 1. That will also give us the same numbers. Okay, this will be all the numbers which are 1 more than 3. The multiples of 3 will be 1 less than the multiple of 3. Those will be the multiples of 3. We could do that. That makes the numbers easy if you want. Okay, so for example, when k is 0, that will be 0. Or when k is, for example, uh, 1, okay, that will be 1. That will be 3. That will be 2. Okay. And that will be 4, and so on. So you'll end up with all the numbers, some, you know, if you choose all the inter integers. You'll end up with all possible values, okay, from 1, 2, 3, and you, you, know, you can cube them. So now if I, if I take the, take the um, case when n equals 3k, let's take the case when n equals 3k, okay, so n cubed would therefore be 3k cubed, which is 9k cubed. Okay, so we can see this is definitely going to be a multiple of 9, because you have 9 times an integer. K is an integer. So these, this, this is going to be a multiple of 9. I'm starting to lag here. Alright, then we've got the case when n equals 3k minus 1. So you can say n cubed is going to be 3k minus 1 cubed. So this is like 3k minus 1 times 3k minus 1 squared. So let me just square this. When you square this, you're going to get 9k squared. You have minus 6k plus 1. So let's now expand this bracket. You're going to have 3k times 9k, which is 27k cubed minus 18k squared plus 3k and minus 9k squared and plus 6k and my, minus 1. So let's see what this gives us. You get 27k cubed. You've got minus 18k squared minus 9k 
um, squared, which is minus 27k squared, plus 3k plus 6k, which is plus 9k, minus 1. So we can see here that from these terms here, there's a common factor of 9, if I can take it out, because remember I'll express it in terms of multiples of 9. So you have 9, and that's 3k cubed minus 3k, oops, this must be a squared here, 3k squared plus k minus 1. So this is, this is a multiple of 9. It's 9 times an integer. If k is an integer, then all of these will be integers. So it's 9 times an integer. So this is a multiple of 9. This is a multiple of 9. So we can see we got something here which is 1 less, 1 less than a multiple of 9, which is one of the things we have to show. Okay, so we can see that every time you have a number which is one less than the multiple of three, you cube it, you'll get a number that's one less than the multiple of nine. And then we've got the, the next case, which is 3k um, plus one. We could have said 3k minus two, same thing. 3k plus one is a bit easier. This will give us all the numbers which are one more than a multiple of three. See, these will give you one less than a multiple of three. These will give you one more than a multiple of three. And these will give you multiples of three. So, you know, you, you've then got all the possible numbers that exist because every number is either a multiple of three or one less or one more than a multiple of three because it goes in threes. All right, so when, you, when you're doing this and you cube it, you end up with getting all the numbers which are one more than a multiple of three cubed. So you're getting, for example, four cubed and you're getting seven cubed and you're getting ten cubed and so on. So this is going to be 3k plus 1 cubed, which gives you 3k plus 1 times, now if you square this, you're going to get 9k squared, you're going to get plus 6k, and you're going to get plus 1, and you expand that, you're going to get 27k cubed, and you're going to get plus 18k squared, you're going to get plus 3k, plus 9k squared, plus 6k and plus 1. So you see you're going to get a similar kind of expression as before. It's 27k cubed plus 27k squared, we write k squared this time, plus 9k and plus 1. Okay, so we can take out from these terms a multiple, the 9 to show that it's a, this part of it is a multiple of 9. So you've got 3k squared plus 3k sorry, 3k cubed, 3k cubed, plus 3k squared, plus k, and then you've got your plus 1 at the outside. So you can see this is one more, this is one more than a multiple of 9. You see, because this part is a multiple of 9, 9 times an integer plus 1. So in these type of questions, we must always conclude. We must always write a little conclusion. Okay, so you can mention that we have shown by using 3k and 3k plus 1 and 3k minus 1 where k is an integer okay that um, the cube the cube of each of these is either a multiple of 9 or one more or one less than 
a multiple of 9. Okay, so you must write some sort of conclusion. Okay, so I hope you understand the fact that using these three um, expressions here includes every single number that exists. So, you know, either, and why did we use three? I mean, if I had used 2k and 2k plus 1, I also am going to get all the numbers that exist. But the trouble is, cubing these will give me things in terms of 2s and 4s and 8s, and I won't be able to express things in terms of multiples of 9. So that's why I didn't go for that. Okay, and choosing 9k would help. It would be give me the you know multiples of 9 when I cube, and but I'm going to have to include every single number. So I have to go 9k, 9k minus 1, 9k minus 2, 9 all the way back to, to 1 to include all the numbers okay I have to you know um, and that's a big that's a big hassle so that's going to take ages if you cube all of those so the easiest thing to do is to choose a number like 3 because when you square and when you cube 3 you get multiples of 9 so you'll end up with numbers here that you can deal with in terms of multiples of of 9 okay so I hope that was clear thank you for watching